In this week's video, we're gonna be actually installing some Brembo brakes. Before we do that, we've got to chuck that guy in the car. Technically, it's lined back up. Subframes back in. Now that we've got the subframe all installed, it's time to jump in and start putting on the rear rotors. The new rotors are a lot bigger than the old ones. And that means this guy right here basically has to be ground back. Wild difference. Look at the old brake in comparison to the new. From a single tiny pot to a significantly larger double pot. Good stuff. All right, this isn't actually properly hooked up yet. I've still got to clean the protective oil that the rotors come from factory with off the rotor. Got to hook up the actual caliper to the line so that when I push the brakes, it does the braking things. And I've got to then install pads in these and that will be it. That's not in the correct spot. That's surprisingly shocking. <laughs> Get it? Shocking. That wasn't deliberate, but it's funny so it can stay. All right, first thing I'm gonna do, take off this and hook it up to the new caliper so that that's ready to go. Crap. All right, we've got a slight problem. This bolt that I was allowing to go from the old caliper into the new caliper is too long. Shit. Oh, we got so fucking lucky. I don't know where I stopped filming. I got pretty butt hurt when I figured out I couldn't do this. Cut down the bolt, which I thought was gonna work, uh, to screw into here. And it would have uh, had the lines been long enough to make it to the rear Brembo calipers. Yeah, but unfortunately they weren't long enough, which meant I had to both replace the line and the fitting. Put this on a group chat, thought I'm in with a bunch of boys, including Dom, who supplied this and the rest of the lines I need for the car too. So this is both the left hand, right hand side, front and rear. Thank fuck that somebody had a set because otherwise I would have had to wait for these to arrive and that might've just made this video end. Uh, yeah, I don't have a lot of time to get this all done. So we gotta put this in like right now because I'm running out of time. <laughs> Now we can install the brake pads, yay! And that is this side completely done. Yes, holy shit, only took me three days to get half of it done. <sighs> Both sides are now hooked up with the Brembo's in place ready to be dropped down or ready to have some wheels put on and then ready to be dropped down and then the front lifted up and the front brake's done. But let's live on the hype for a second. The back is done. I'm gonna chuck the wheels on and I'm gonna slap this thing down because I'm fucking keen. Oh, piece of timber for the win. <laughs> Hmm. I don't think we'll be running these on the rear. That's for sure. Oh, the back seems so low now. Because it's not up here. Oh, so good. These wheels are like heaps better than the, um, than the old shitty ones that were on there. Damn, those Brembo's look good, don't they? And those rotors. Oofed. Yeah, I know I'm missing some studs, but like I, I don't have enough to put on there. So just chill. Alrighty guys. Well, I want to thank you all for tuning into this week's video and for the last one and the one before that as well. If you've been watching this little 
holy shit, I've got to get my car ready because I have a drift event coming up uh, series, I guess. Um, thank you. This video is a mess trying to film. Like, I kind of like didn't get a weekend last week and I've just been filming this after work every day, which has meant lack of sleep, basically. If you have enjoyed this video, please do me a favor, go down, hit that like button and leave a comment telling me what you think. I appreciate it and I like seeing your comments down there. I'll catch you next week where we're gonna do the front Brembos, some engine stuff and a final prep before the drift day. Catch you then, bye.